This video is a production of Wheels by Fleming of San Jose, California, USA, home of hand-built basic and replacement alloy bicycle wheels. I'm your host, Robert Shackelford, a.k.a. Fleming, a.k.a. Mr. Rabbit. Today's video category is Technical Information. The title for this video is Freewheel Wobble. One topic that often comes up in online forums and in listserv discussions is the topic of freewheel wobble. When the question is asked what's causing it, most folks will point at the freewheel. Actually, it's not the freewheel in most cases, but it's the hub shell that it's sitting on. Unless the freewheel has been excessively worn or the freewheel body is breaking down, it's not the freewheel, but it's the hub shell primarily because of machining defects in the hub shell itself. Ideally, when a hub shell is machined out, material is removed along the axial center line from one end of the shell to the other, such that when you spin this shell on a newly built hub, the only thing it will do is spin and not have any deviations whatsoever in its movement. Unfortunately, we do not live in an ideal world, and especially with entry-level or standard hubs, there will be defects in the machine work. Sometimes you'll come across hub shells that have off-center machining such that one side of the hub shell is slightly off-center. If this happens to be the drive side, the freewheel will move up and down and wobble when the wheel is spun freely. Occasionally, you'll come across hub shells where the machine work is off-center on both sides of the hub shell in opposite directions. This will cause the freewheel on this hub shell to rise, fall, and wobble while the wheel is spinning freely. Sometimes you'll run across hub shells where the machine work is off-center on both sides of the hub shell in the same direction. The freewheel that's on this hub and the hub itself will rise and fall as the wheel is spinning freely. Here we have a standard hub that has minimal machine defects in it. When the freewheel is put on, the freewheel displays just minimal wobble. Here we have a standard hub once again, this time with more noticeable machine defect work. When the freewheel is put on, it wobbles and rises and falls. And then again on occasion, you'll come across hub shells to have a combination of the various hub shell machine defects already noted. Here's a much higher quality hub from the same manufacturer free of defects. Notice the difference. One question that's raised regarding freewheel wobble is how much does it affect rear regular or index shifting? The answer is, it has little or no effect at all. Instead of focusing on freewheel wobble, here's a checklist of more important areas to look into when troubleshooting rear regular or index derailleur shifting issues. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can visit my website at www.mrrabbit.net. Follow the link for Wheels by Fleming, and on the Wheels by Fleming main page, at the bottom is my email address. Use that to shoot me an email.